नमस्कार दोस्तों वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो फ्रॉम शमोज बायोलॉजी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द फूड कॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया एफ सी आई एग्जामिनेशन सो येस यू हर्ड इट करेक्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम अ फूड इंस्पेक्टर विच इज गिविंग यू अ वेरी डिसेंट सैलरी जॉब अ वेरी गुड जॉब सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट जॉब दैन from the field of biotechnology from the field of agriculture technology and also from many other fields you can appear into it every single year our central government conduct an examination basically the food corporation of india is an entity and that entity conducts this examination every single year once and generally the seat limits goes like 70 to 90 people are selected with various fields with a very decent salary if you get the job at this point so what is food corporation of india what are the jobs available after you qualify food corporation of india examination watch this video completely to know all right so food corporation of india offers different positions the positions can be first is administrative position the administrative position they can hire anyone you can come from biotech background or you can come from agricultural background you can come from uh, then uh, generally uh, any other background any other msc equivalent any other msc or post graduate degree equivalent you can go there and appear in the administrative part of general manager assistant general manager position of the administrative part of the food corporation of india so for that you don't need any subjective knowledge the examination will be based on the specific numerical aptitude reasoning and iq and so many other things current affairs and computer knowledge now there are some other specific positions which are technical positions where a btech b biotech uh, candidate can appear or agricultural uh, biotech candidate can appear agricultural students can appear or there is a law based position where only a person after qualifying uh, law after completion of the degree of law can apply and there are positions where a person coming from the chartered accountant can only join there are positions where only mbbs candidates can join so those are specialized positions although there is no difference in terms of salary that you can draw from a general position or a specialized positions you're going to see that in a moment i'm going to show you all the details regarding the fci examination in my computer screen but if you belong to any other category than the the biotechnology agriculture uh, doctor uh, lawyer or accountant then you can go with the general and uh, assistant general manager position for a general administrative category and for that the seat limit is 12 to 20 uh, for general category it will be 8 to 10 seats yeah of course in india in a country like india where 8 to 10 seats uh, for this huge number of applicant is sound really uh, this hurting but still yes you can get there because the salary is handsome 60000 to 160000 for mbbs category for the medical officers and 80000 to 160000 for the all the other category of candidates so without any further delay let me show you all the details regarding the food corporation of india examination fci examination in my computer screen so now i am going to show you the details regarding the exam conducted by the food corporation of india and basically where you need to log in to recruitment fci.in okay this is the page simply type in fci exam and the very first page fci.gov.in and here is the food corporation of india fci recruitment this is the page where i need to click and all the details will be provided here you can see the details or uh, deadlines coming from 1st march 2021 to 31st march 2021 now this is uh, the food corporation exam schedule for 2021 for 2022 and years to come they will uh, obviously provide with new links and uh, new details so if i click on the download option for the advertisement recruitment ad advertisement you are going to see all the details and this is what you need so the very many of your queries will be answered in this particular pass you can see the vacancies will vary from time to time there is no fixed vacancy so depending upon the type of vacancy they will declare so in this case generally there are five four five different sections are mentioned one is the assistant general manager agm for general admission assistant general manager for technical assistant general manager for accounts assistant general manager for law and medical officers are needed and they have different post codes assistant general Man manager for general admission is post code a uh the technical agm b accounts agm c law agm d and medical officers are designated as e category the salary range also 60000 to 180000 per month that's what we mentioned for medical officer 50000 to 160000 per month 
okay what are the maximum age limit you can also see the maximum age limit and that is 30 years for assistant general manager general administration category for uh, the agm technical and accounts 28 years for agm law 33 years for medical officer it's 35 years okay and the number of seats available there you can see the unreserved category is 12 for the general category of agm SCST OBC, SCST 33 each, EWS 3, OBC 9, total 30 vacancies. AGM Technical, uh, you can see in AGM Technical 27 vacancies, Accounts 22 vacancies, Law 8 vacancies. All these vacancies are listed in this picture, okay. And total number is 89, so 89 vacancies for a year for FCI Food Corporation of India. So the competition will be huge. Okay, but don't fear because you are going to crack it. Don't worry about it much. Okay, now one more thing that I want to say is regarding the obviously you need to be physically fit for these positions out there. So rest of it's just a given. So what are the qualifications needed uh, and experience needed as on 1-1-2021? So based on that assistant general manager for general administration purpose, this is the one where a postgraduate degree or equivalent required for recognized university or institute with at least 55% marks, okay. Bachelor's degree in law, if law for five years, unintegrated in integrated course in law and recognized university, minimum marks 55%. So postgraduate or equivalent or law for five years with minimum of 55% is needed for the position of assistant general manager, general administration category, postcode A. Now, the assistant general manager technical position, if you go that side, the postcode B, BSc in agriculture in recognized university is needed or BSc or BE, BTech degree or BE degree in food science from recognized university with 55% marks, BTech, food science and technology, food processing technology, food processing or food preservation technology, all will work, BTech degree in agricultural engineering recognized by an university will, 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 be, will be okay. B.Tech degree in biotechnology or industrial biotechnology or biotechnology, biochemical engineering, agricultural biotechnology from a recognized university with 55% marks. So this is where you can apply to from a biology field. You can apply in postcode A that is in AGM from general administration or postcode B AGM in technical position if you are from biotech background, B biotech or, uh, or, or, BS, uh, or BSc in agriculture, B.Tech in biotechnology you can apply for that but you need to have a minimum marks of 55%. AGM for accounts goes with CA, Chartered Accounts. So you need to be a member of Institute of Chartered Accountants of India or Cost Accounts of India or Institute of Company Secretaries uh, of India. Then Assistant General Manager for Law, full-time degree in law is needed from a recognized institute. An experience minimum five years of experience needed. For Medical Officer, you need to have MBBS degree registered and completed the prescribed house surgery, of course and the experience must be three years experience in any organized medical institution preferably in a labor organization okay so that uh th this is all the this is all of the qualification scheme that that are required now fees it requires a fees of thousand rupees it requires a fees of thousand rupees for the application of the process now let's look at the pattern of the exam in food corporation of india okay and food as a food corporation of india as a food safety officer so the online test and the timing for the test is two and a half hours. Okay. Now there are two set, separate pattern of the test. Either it's for the postcode A or B, C, D, E. Total marks will be 180. Total time will be two and a half hours. So for a general category that is postcode A, assistant general manager, general administration, administration category. We have a general aptitude consisting of reasoning, data analysis, numerical interpretation for 45 questions, general awareness, current affairs, 45 questions, management and ethics question, 45 questions, and agricultural, agricultural economy and computer awareness, 45 questions. So 45 into 4, okay, that will be the total number of 180 questions. Each question will comprise of 1 marks, total 80 marks, 180 marks, and there is no negative marking. Now if you move to the assistant general manager, uh, for technical accounts and all this part then again 180 marks two and a half hours but general aptitude reasoning here reasoning data analysis numerical ability will be 13 question general awareness current affairs will be 30 questions management and ethics will be 30 questions agriculture agriculture economy computer awareness 30 questions so 120 question from rest of the topics which is from general aptitude topic 
and 60 question will be from relevant discipline so if you are from uh, biotech it will be from biotech if you are from agriculture it will be from agriculture if you are from uh, accounts it will be from accounts if you are from law the question 60 questions will be from law so ultimately give you 180 questions so now in post code a general aptitude 180 multiple choice question each carry one marks paper will carry 180 marks there is no negative marking but rest of the post code that is post code b c d and e general aptitude 120 marks each carrying 0.5 marks so it will be total of 60 marks and the relevant technical discipline have 60 questions two for each question 120 marks so 120 plus 20, uh, 60 will give us 180 marks again no negative marking okay so what is the syllabus the syllabus for the specified technical positions so assistant general manager for technical for agricultural the syllabus is mentioned you can see that this is the agricultural syllabus i'm not going to read in details you can take a screenshot of that quite easily for biotechnology you can see it's simple straightforward syllabus entomology chemistry all the syllabus are listed for postcode b here postcode c for assistant general manager in accounts it will be taxation auditing commercial laws basic of computers and all postcode d for law all the different information regarding law required general medicine pediatrics general surgery will be needed for postcode e medical officer and uh, many other topics will be there okay so this in a sense is general overview of the fci examination uh, you can you can read the rest of the details with after qualifying how you'll get the call letter the physical verifications will be needed and so many other things will be needed all you can get from the rest of the topic and the centers are listed the state in the left hand side centers in the right hand side you can get all the details from here and generally the centers are in the city of every single state so major cities are there for the state uh, for the place for examination you can appear in the examination can continue with it that's all regarding fci examination all right so i believe you have a clear idea about the fci examination fci examination dates fci examination exam pattern and fci examination fees fci examination a uh, salary so all these things are clear so if you want to be a food safety officer in india with a very good decent salary and a good job security you can always consider this the age limit will be 30 years so make sure that it's maintained the age limit is 30 years for general categories but for mbbs is 35 years and for law is 33 years so that's all regarding fci examination if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye